Hi guys, my name is Angela. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has definitely been a while. I was not planning on it being this long, but we are back. We are finally back. I'm still kind of figuring everything out in this new setting. As you can tell, the background is a little bit different than the last one. We did move. So I'm still adjusting everything. We'll be playing it around. I thought the perfect first video would be a favorites video just because I haven't been on here in a while and you guys have no idea what I've been using. So I'm going to go ahead, jump right into it. Make sure to like and subscribe. I will be uploading weekly videos from now on out. So let's get into it. I feel like I have a perfect mix of high end drugstore. So first off, I have the NYX plump right back. I really like this primer. I feel like it's very hydrating. I feel like my makeup does last a long time with it. I feel like if you're looking for something that's kind of like dewy but not overly overwhelmingly dewy, I feel like this is a great choice. After my pregnancy, I've been experiencing more dry skin. I used to have oily skin, now more of the combo mix. So just kind of figuring that out. I feel like this helps me pretty well. So I think if you have combo dry skin, I'm honestly, I feel like this could work for oily skin too. I feel like it's a very versatile primer. I'm also going with primers. This is a newer favorite. I was kind of like, should I put it in the video? I don't know, but I did. I'm wearing it on my face today. This is the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. I do really love this one. If I'm comparing the two, I think this grips your makeup a little bit better. I mean, it is the Power Grip Primer. I still feel like it has that hydrating feel to it. So it's a great job at having your makeup lasting long, but it's not like too tacky either. I kind of have like a lot of twos <laughs> in each category. But so next I'm gonna talk about the foundations that I've been loving. So I've been loving the Rare Beauty Foundation. I'm wearing that on my skin. Today, I feel like it's like medium coverage, very lightweight on the skin, and I feel like you can build it up as much as you need it. I don't think it really gets like cakey. I personally have been liking like a lighter foundation, but I feel like this covers everything that I need it to cover, and I really appreciate that with it. It's one of my really good foundations that like really matches my skin tone. I feel like they have amazing shades in it. If you like super full coverage, then I don't think this would be the foundation for you. But if you're looking for like a medium light feeling foundation, I feel like this is perfect. And then next, this is the Kosas. Oh, oh, oh. In the Rare Beauty, I have 160C. But then I have the Kosas uh, Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. I really love this foundation. This foundation has been like my go-to. I've really been using it on the daily lately. I also am trying to get through it. Uh, it does expire in September, but I honestly really do like how it lasts or how it looks on my skin. I do like how it lasts as well. I feel like it's also another foundation that's very lightweight. If I'm like saying which one, I don't know. I've been using this one a lot more lately, so I feel like I'm kind of gearing, to, gearing towards I like this one a little bit better, but I feel like they both last great. They're both great, like splurging foundations in my opinion. And this one, I didn't even say the shades. So I have like cool 150 in this one. And I just, I really love this one. I do like the way this one looks a little bit better on my skin. I feel like it kind of lasts a little bit longer. So next I'm going to talk about the Sigma Color Correcting Duo. So this is for the light to medium. I have Hip Pan on the lighter shade. I just was using the lighter shade at first, I like the coverage a little bit better when I use both of them together. I feel like it really covers my discoloration underneath my eyes and it just adds like a nice little coverage to it. This is definitely like my go-to. I love formula to it. It's very creamy for me personally. So I have a few of the thinner ones that you just kind of dot underneath the eyes or the little wand ones. I have a few of those um, that come in like the little squeezy tubes as well. And I just, I don't know, there's something about this kind of formula and the way it applies underneath your eyes. So lightweight, but it does so much. Where I feel like with the squeezy tubes or like the little dots, they are lightweight, but I feel like they don't cover as much as this one covers. This is definitely like 
my go-to color corrector. And if you're looking for one, um, I think this is perfect. I think it's a great splurge item just because honestly, I feel like it's the best one I've ever had. I got the Becca one as well. So I kind of want to compare the two on my eyes because I do really like that one as well. That's probably like my number two. Okay, so now I want to talk about concealers. But the next one that I have is the Bear With Me Concealer Serum by NYX. I have the shade Light in that one. I've really been loving this and I've honestly used it quite a few times and I feel like I haven't even used up that much product. I feel like with this product in particular, like a little bit goes a long way. This one's very lightweight, very natural underneath the eyes. I feel like it gives like a satin natural finish. This is what I love to use on my makeup makeup days, but I also, I'll use it even with like a full coverage foundation. It is so lightweight and so easy to blend. Also with concealers, I have a Rare Beauty 140C. I love this one. I honestly like to use these two a lot together. That's actually the combination I have on today. I made sure to use like all the products that are my favorites on my face today just because I'm like, I'm gonna be talking about them. So I wanted to make sure they're on my face. If I want a little bit more coverage than the next one, then I usually go to this one. This one's also so lightweight underneath the eyes. It blends beautifully, but it does have a bit more coverage. It's not full coverage. It's more of like a light medium coverage, but it's a nice like step up from this one. That's the way I think of it. I feel like this one gives a nice little natural finish as well. It's not heavy underneath the eyes. Love like the little twist top. I feel like it's such a great, I don't know, easy way to open up your concealer. I've definitely been loving Rare Beauty. You're going to see quite a few more products from them today. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. So this has been my go-to eye primer lately, specifically because I like that it has like the little foot. You can just apply it to the eyes. It definitely gives like a light coverage like it'll cover the discoloration if you have any on your lids but it's not like super heavy it's not like very noticeable like, it holds my eyeshadows very well i just feel like it does a great job at having your eyeshadows last all day it doesn't show that it's empty in here like i feel like a little bit goes a long way because i really have been using this so often next i want to talk about my favorite setting powder that I have at the moment. It is the Dominique Cosmetics setting powder. I have it in translucent. It is so freaking good for blurring underneath your eyes. Like, it's incredible. Like, I love this. I don't go a day without it. I, like, couldn't find it for a few days one time. And I was like, what am I going to do? How am I going to set my under eyes? Like, it's great. I will use it over my face if I really want that blurring look everywhere, but I kind of do just like the blurring look underneath the eyes, then kind of like a more natural like setting powder for the rest of the face. Helps with creases. Like, it's just such a nice formula and it is so lightweight. I feel like it would work for any skin type. It's just, I feel like it's a very universal product. And I love it so much. It's literally like my favorite under eye setting powder. And it's been that way for a while. Forgot to talk about my cream powder or products before I went into the setting powder, but that's okay. We can still do it. So I have the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. I have it in the shade light. I love this bronzer. I think it is, this is what the shade looks like. It is, I kind of like more of a cool tone bronzer. And even though this one's, I feel like this one's pretty neutral. Like it's a little warm, but I feel like it's pretty neutral. And it's so like creamy on the skin. It's pigmented, like I will say a little bit can go a long way, but it blends so beautiful into the skin. I feel like it lasts so long. Like it is such a great cream bronzer formula. You do not need to get high-end cream bronzers because I feel like this one really really does it. I just love it so much like, and that's another product that I feel like can work with every skin type. I feel like a lot of these products are very universal in that sense. Cream blushes. I have the Rare Beauty. This one is my top favorite color at the moment. Before this one I was loving this one. So this one is Love and it's definitely more on the darker side. And then the other one that I have is Happy. So this is 
happy's on top and then bottom is love and i wanted to talk about the cream blushes and the powder blushes at the same time because i love this combination together so i have been loving the rms beauty blushes so i have two shades in those um this was the first shade that i got and i just loved it so much that i got another one so this one's sangria and i love using sangria with love i feel like they go so well together and the formula is so beautiful i use pomegranate fizz with um happy this one swatched on the skin i think it's pulling a little bit more warm on the camera but it is more pink i feel like it looks a bit more orange on the camera but it is pink oh this is sangria with joy oh the rare beauty little bit goes a long way you do not need a lot with these products they are so blendable on the skin i'm actually wearing happy and the pomegranate fizz one together today so you can kind of see how it looks on the skin i have a great variety of colors and then the rms beauty blushes i really love i feel like they are so lightweight on the skin but they add a bunch of pigment but I feel like they're also very natural, but they do add a glow. Like I don't have highlighter on today. I would say the glow that I have is from my blush. So if you don't kind of like that look, very nice sheen to the cheeks that they give. Now I'm going to powder bronzer. So this has been my favorite for a little bit and I've been starting to dabble into the house lab. So I'm talking about both of these ones today. But I do have the Glow Wish by Huda Beauty and it is 01 light now this is light this is light this is very natural but i find it very into blush so i don't like big bronzer moment on the skin anymore if you're looking for a very light bronzer just gives like a nice little pigment to the skin this is perfect for you i kind of like swatched it on my wrist if you can see it's like right there but I like love the formula like it is so lightweight the next bronzer that I have is the light level 2 power sculpt uh, velvet bronzer by house labs so I actually went up a shade in this one this one is like a shade darker um, than the other one so this is the house labs and then that's the other one you can see that this one's a little bit more darker I go for when I want a little bit more of a bronzy look to the skin like this one's a bit more powdery than this one you don't really get any powder really at all this one is I feel like creamy like I feel like it's very creamy it blends beautifully on the skin you can definitely build this one up more than this one it's a very natural like formula as well it adds like a great amount of pigment to the skin oh uh, we spoke about the eyes and I didn't even think about showing my eyeshadow palettes I have two eyeshadow palettes that I'm showing you both neutral eyeshadows but I will say I love them both and I use them both pretty regularly so well these are the the two eyeshadow palettes that I'm showing you guys I usually just go to those two eyeshadow palettes because they have everything I need in them this is the transition palette from Dominique Cosmetics ignore how mine is dirty right there I love this it is an all matte palette and I've been really into a matte look lately so I love these neutral tones they have everything you need for any kind of neutral look you have like the lighter colors lighter brown browns there's like a little mustard yellowy then you got a few little like pink shades right here then we got the it just like I love the format too because it's like light medium and dark and I love that about them these are pigmented like I cannot complain at all about these colors they blend very easily they build up fine I don't think they're too powdery you have like one other palette from her and I, I just love her formula I feel like it is beginner friendly not a beginner more advanced in the makeup you'd appreciate this as well like it is just such a great palette and I feel like maybe if you're a makeup artist this would be perfect for you as well I'm sorry if I'm going like super super fast I'm just trying to like get all the products I was like when I set them all down I was like oh my god I have so many products in here to talk about and I'm filling this on my lunch so I'm trying to get it all done but yes so the next one that I have is a pretty pricey palette I had thought about it for a bit before I got it I really love the color stories 
color story. So I did get it and I'm glad I got it. They say it's worth the money. Yes and no. Because if you have a bunch of these shades already, eh. But I think the formula is very beautiful for the mattes, for the shimmers. What I love about this palette in particular is that it's very neutral, but it has those pops of color. I'm a neutral person. I really don't wear too many pops of color. But if I do, they're more like green, pink, and like sometimes purple. So this palette works for me and it does everything that I needed to do. I will say, I feel like these ones are a bit more chunkier, if you can kind of tell, because I feel like you can tell by the way that I dig my brush in there. Since they added these two and just these two, I would have liked to have one more color. I've used these th these three before together and I do like how it looks, but I feel like there just needs to be one more pinky purpley tone in here to tie it all together. Because a lot of times when I am digging into this one, I do go back into my Dominique Cosmetics and I do use one of the pinky tones that they have in there. But the formula is very, very nice. But if this isn't a palette for you that you'll think you'll use often, I wouldn't suggest getting it. Quickly hit on this item, one hit, Prime, set, and refresh facial mist. I'm literally, like, I have, like, I think, like, oh, you can see, I can see. I have this much left in it. I love this one for hydrating my skin. I'm going to be honest, when I use a hydrating primer, I use a different, like, setting spray over top. I mainly use hydrating ones literally to hydrate my skin, which this does. This really, I love this, and I love the mister. I'll spray it. I don't know if you can really see it, but the mister is very fine and it hits the face really nice. Like I, ah, oh, I love this spray. I was so mad when I seen it on sale at Sephora and I didn't get it because I'm almost out, but it's okay. I feel like it does a great job. I might as well go everywhere with it. Looking for a nice hydrating setting spray I would say this one is great it always makes my skin feel like refreshed like just using using it now I feel very refreshed and I, I didn't even spray that much next I am gonna hit on mascaras and then we just have lip products left and then we are done I feel like this was a long video but at the same time I feel like I've just been like but it's okay. Everything is explained well. But let's get into the mascaras. So this is the MAC Stack Mascara. I love this mascara so freaking much. This is the wand on it. Um, I'm like pretty much done with this mascara. I've been using it so much. I love it. It really lengthens your mascara. It just adds like... A good amount of volume I feel like this is and you can honestly max stack you can stack it up like you can really build it up and I don't feel like it looks like spidery or anything like that like it is just such a great formula it is definitely worth the splurge I'm planning on repurchasing it, repurchasing it but I do have other ones that I want to get through first okay next this is another little newer favorite but I had to throw it in. Elf has been killing it lately. So this is the Elf Lash and Roll. I got this color in brown because I've been really wanting to dabble with brown mascara. But oh my god, I love this. I love this. If you're looking for a natural lash, this is it. It definitely lengthens. I wouldn't say it volumizes, but it lengthens. So I got the brown shade. You can tell it's brown. But it's like a deep brown, which it, I think it does say anyways that it's a deep brown. I am wearing it today, and if you can kind of see how long they are, like it looks like you have like a lash lift and you're using mascara. Okay, we have quite a bit of lip products to move through, but I will get through them. So I'm gonna start off with the first one that's not an actual like makeup lip product. So I have been loving the road peptide lip treatment oh my god this is amazing i have the unscented i have the salted caramel i have the watermelon slice and i will say the salted caramel is probably my favorite out of all of them but they all feel the same they're so smoothing and hydrating on the lips 
I have not had, like my lips, like I need them to feel hydrated all the time. And I feel like I had been struggling with them feeling dry, but then I use this and I can't tell you enough how much this has helped my lips stay hydrated. And I love like the little glossy look that it gives the lips as well. I can go ahead and apply it for you guys. So it gives that nice little like juicy, like wet look to the lips. I'll say I did get one gritty and I messaged them about it and they sent me a new one pretty quickly. So the actual formula, it's not a gritty. I did get one. They just wanted to throw that out there. I've not had a single other chapstick, anything, leave my lips as hydrated as this one does. Next, we will move into lip liners. And I have been loving the makeup by Mario lip liner. Mine is pretty ugly right now but I have this shade Rich Mauve. This has been my go-to lip pencil like and this exact color for a while now is the lip color. I love this formula. Like it is so, it's creamy, but it's not too creamy where you're like not able to work around your lips. I hate when they're too creamy and then it's just looking very sloppy on my lips. This is so like nice and precise and when you do order one of their pencils, it comes with a sharpener as well. I love this brush because anytime I fill in my lips, I like to I like to fill in like my whole lips so like my color lasts longer and I love that they include this. I love this formula. I feel like if you are wanting to splurge on a lip pencil, I think this is the best one, I mean, that I've tried. I haven't tried all the high-end lip pencils, but I do like this one a lot more than like the Charlotte Tilbury. Like, I think this one's perfect for me. The Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit too creamy. I go through my like lip combo at the moment. I'm not wearing this combo right now. I'm actually wearing a different lip. It's the first day where I was like, okay, let me wear a different lipstick. I've been really into a pink lip lately. Okay, this is another makeup by Mario lipstick. I love this by the way. It's awesome. It's the color Rasa. I wanna say that's exactly how you pronounce it. This is what gives me that pink lip tone. Today's definitely the darkest that I've had my lips in a while, which is like, Weird because it's not even a dark color, but this is the color of the lipstick. It's a very satin finish, but it does last a while and it feels so nice on the lips. Like, And then on top of those, I put, I love this formula. This is the Milky Gloss. Um, I have a few colors in this, but I have the shade Milky Pink. I'm sorry, that took me a while. And that just gives, <laughs> let me add more. And that gives it a nice little like pinky tone. And that's the little swatch. I feel like this is like a nice juicy look as well as a little pigment to your lips. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys have a great day, great week, great month, great year. Thank you so much for watching. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.